was born in March 1919 to Wun Hong and Theo Chin in the village of Spoo of Kumpung Jam province in Cambodia. She was born the eldest of three brothers and two sisters. Her father was a merchant farmer, a carpenter, a fortune teller, and a healer. Her mother was also a merchant and a weaver of fine silks. Yin would inherit these skills and was renowned for her ability to weave quickly. When she was 20 years old, she was betrothed to a civil servant by the name of Wood Juan. After they married, they moved to a well-known place called Tuong Kmum, a city that is referenced in the famed Khmer fairy tale titled Dong Diu. This would be the start of a long and loving marriage. With Ian's unconditional support of Juan, he would go on to have a very successful career in government, as he would rise to become a member of the Royal Cambodian Parliament for two terms. During this time, Ian would give birth to seven children, but only four survived. Tragically, in 1975, Juan was torn away from his family by the Khmer Rouge regime. The entire family endured living under the regime for nearly four years until their escape to North America in 1979. As refugees, Ian and her children were challenged with rebuilding their lives in a country where each had to start anew. Through it all, Ian was the devoted matriarch who played an integral role in raising each and every one of her grandchildren. She is survived by four daughters, nine grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. Ian remained devoted to her husband until her last day. Despite his absence over the last 30 years, she prayed to him every day and kept his memory alive among all of her children. Her full and fortunate life would instill values of love and devotion among all of her family, so much so that the song that you hear now is written about her by one of her grandchildren. This song is titled Devotion. They call me crazy for loving you like this I wanna do for just one more kiss To feel your finger once more linger On my spine Just one more time 